Let's talk about Class B and Class C soils on the construction site. Trenching kills roughly 40 construction workers every year. Cavens pose the greatest risk and are much more likely than other construction related accidents to result in worker fatalities. There are different types of protective systems. Sloping or benching involves cutting back the trench wall at an angle inclined away from the excavation and is a method of protection for the worker. You need to know when to properly slope or bench an excavation. Sloping eliminates the risk of cave-ins. Soil classification provides an empirical estimation of the soil stability. Proper sloping of your excavation based on soil classification will provide a safe working environment. Some things to think about when you're on the job site. Each employee who enters a trench must be protected from cave-ins by a protective system if the excavation is 5 feet or greater in depth, unless it is dug into stable rock. One cubic yard of soil can weigh as much as a car or 3,000 pounds. OSHA requires that employers have a competent person to determine the soil type. Soil can be classified as type A, type B, or type C. We want to talk about type B and type C. If you're working in type B or type C soil, you need to know and fully understand the limitations and criteria in which you can work safely. Type B soil is cohesive and has often been cracked or disturbed, has medium unconfined compressive strength between 0.5 and 1.5 tons per square foot. Class B soils include angular gravel, silt, silt loam, and soils that are fissured or near sources of vibration. Type C soil is a least stable soil type. It includes granular soils in which particles don't stick together and cohesive soils with a low unconfined compressive strength between 0.5 tons per square foot or less. Type C soil types include gravel and sand. If you are digging in Class B soil that has been previously disturbed, it is now classified as Class C. For a Class B soil trench, Class B can be benched at a 1 to 1 slope ratio or 45 degrees. A 1 to 1 slope means that for every one foot of horizontal travel, you will rise or fall one foot vertically. Any trench deeper than 20 feet must be engineered by a registered professional engineer and have a stamped drawing. For a Class C soil trench, it can be sloped at a 1.5 to 1 or 34 degrees. A 1.5 to 1 slope means that for every 1.5 feet or 18 inches of horizontal travel, you will rise or fall one foot vertically. Remember, Class C soil cannot be benched. Any trench deeper than 20 feet must be engineered by a registered professional engineer and have a stamp drawing. If you are using a trench box, at the bottom of the trench, the top of the box must extend 18 inches vertically up from the bottom of the slope hinge point. In closing, you'll want to remember two, three, four, and five while working with or around a trench. Two stands for the excavation spoils must be placed two feet away from the top of the slope. This will allow for safe walking at top of excavation and keep anything from rolling down into the trench and onto a worker. Three stands for three foot is the height your ladder must extend out of your trench. Four stands for the four foot depth at which a ladder or means of entering or exiting is used. And five stands for any trench deeper than five feet requires sloping or shoring for worker protection.